everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV news update. Thanks for watching. The National Drug Council's prison survey was conducted earlier this month. Recently, 50 volunteers who were trained to conduct the survey visited Northward and Fairbanks prisons and talked to prisoners there. Now, the objective of the study is to allow for the analysis of factors, including family, personal drug use, health, criminal history, weapons, and drug market. In 2008, 2009 and 2013 pilot surveys were conducted at Northward, uh, the men's prison, Fairbanks, the women's prison, and Eagle House, the juvenile facility. Now, the surveys gave experts a broader picture of the consumption pattern of illegal and legal drugs amongst inmates for the first time in the Cayman Islands. 85% of the prison population recently participated in this year's survey. The results of the survey are expected at the end of the year. We invite you to join us tomorrow when we hear more from the NDC's research and information officer. Local students continue to shine in the annual Florida Caribbean Cruise Association's poster competition. This year, more than 50 students from the Cayman Islands took part in the FCCA's competition. Of those, Anissa Hoyt was selected to represent us in the senior division and to Tajana Parker in the junior division. The two girls from Clifton Hunter High School and Prep School were recently awarded for their creativity. Anissa received a $1,000 U.S. check for her, placing third. She's a Clifton Hunter student, while Tajana uh, Parker received $200 for her entry in the FCCA poster competition. Great job by both of these local students, and we say congratulations to them. Well, the Caribbean Journal has come out with yet another positive article about the Cayman Islands. This time, the focus is on the Ritz-Carlton Grand Cayman. The article states that the Ritz-Carlton is a different level of hotel. This was a new level, one that so few in the region actually attain because service is what separates good hotels from great hotels, the thing that turns a great hotel into a luxury hotel. From the carpets, valet, reception, room service, spa, all were described as impeccable. The story also takes readers through the various areas of the Grand Cayman Hotel while speaking about the writer's positive experience. Of course, the story itself didn't end there without mentioning our famous Seven Mile Beach, describing it as one of the best stretches of sand anywhere in the hemisphere. Meantime, Department of Tourism officials tell us they are pleased to see their invaluable industry partner recognized in the international media through articles such as this one. They added that the Caribbean Journal is a great conduit for sharing the many Cayman kind attributes of our destination with those interested in traveling here. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to tune into Radio K Man's talk shows. That's For the Record and Talk Today, weekdays and week mornings. As always, I'm Donna Bush, thanking you for joining us. Hope you'll join me here again tomorrow evening. But until then, have a great one. Bye-bye for now.